Hello, this is Verma. This is the third video in the series in which we explain what a CO2 laser is and how laser machines work. If you missed the first two, you might like to start by watching them to get a better understanding of the topic. Links to the videos can be found in the description below the video. If you watch our videos consistently, please like the video. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe. We do our best for you. In previous videos, we have already explained what a CNC CO2 laser is, its advantages and how the machine knows where to travel. In this video, we will tell you how the laser beam is formed in a CO2 laser machine and what can be produced on a CO2 laser. Let us start with the laser beam. How is the laser beam formed in a CO2 laser machine? In scientific terms, a laser beam is a narrowly focused monochromatic coherent stimulated emission initiated in an active medium by an external energy factor. And now in simpler terms, a CO2 laser machine has a laser tube. Usually it is a glass bulb with a mixture of gases, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and helium. The machine supplies electrical energy to the laser tube, which is converted into laser radiation precisely due to a mixture of gases, mainly carbon. That is why such machines are called CO2. A laser machine converts electrical energy into laser radiation thanks to a sealed glass bulb with a carbon dioxide medium inside, called a laser tube or emitter. A stream of laser radiation emerges from the tube and is then reflected by a system of moving mirrors that are fixed to the machine. The first mirror is stationary and mounted next to the laser tube, while the other two are mounted on moving parts of the machine and can be moved to any desired point on the work table. Now, when we know how the laser beam is formed, let us move to the other question. What can be produced on a CO2 laser machine? CO2 CNC laser machines can process organic materials. This equipment has two functions, cutting and engraving. A CO2 laser machine cuts and engraves wood, plywood, MDF and other wood-based materials, polymers and plastics such as PET, acrylic, polypropylene, styrofoam or foam rubber rubber, paranite, cardboard and paper, fabric, fur, leather and faux leather, engraves, stone, ceramics, glass and mirror. If you combine these materials intelligently and have skills in industrial design or order product layouts from professional designers, you can make stunning items that will be successful in the market and will bring the owner of the machine a profit. These products are often in demand in interior and exterior design the restaurant business and advertising. The laser machine is used to make children's products, toys, number plates, signs, engraved leather goods, customized jewelry boxes and much more. The range of possibilities is limited only by the imagination. Today, the market for CNC laser cutting and engraving is growing non-stop and this should be used. In terms of size, the machines range from wide format with a working area size of 2 by 3 meters to desktop CNC lasers with a working area size of 50 by 30 centimeters or 20 by 30 centimeters. Therefore, you can open both a mass production hall and a small business at home. If you want to cover the widest range of applications, opt for a medium format machine with a 900 by 600 or 1200 by 900 working area, such as a Watson 6090 or Watson 1290. With this video, we have finished the topic of CO2 laser machines. We hope this video has been useful and clear. But if you still have any questions or additions to the subject, please comment and our engineers will be happy to answer them. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We will keep you updated about the world of laser and milling machines. Thanks for watching. This is Verma. See you in the next video.